I may as well have a look at a few other things. Uh, within the general preference, um, this actually controls the items that appear on your desktop. So you'll see at the moment I have a blank desktop, but if I add hard disks in, you'll see the desktop icons. Let's move that out of the way and go back to preferences. Uh, the hard disk icons appear. Uh, I have no CDs, but I have got an external USB drive connected and any servers I'm connected to as well. And there are some other items which will, well, no, we'll cover them now. Um, when you actually click on a folder, uh, when you open a new finder window, uh, it will automatically go to the home directory and you can specify a different uh, folder to open when you open a new finder window. And you can always open folders in a new window. So when you click on a folder, um, it will appear in a, another window. So let's just show you that. So at the moment, if I open the music folder, it just reappears within the same view. Let's go back a level. If I switch this on and double click now, yeah, we get a brand new window uh, of the music directory. Okay, by default, I tend to have that switched off. And there's also an option to open new windows in column view, but we'll look at that later. Uh, spring loaded folders and windows. Again, we'll have a closer look at the views and explain that to you uh, a little bit later on. Uh, oh, labels. Um, you can actually label um, elements within a view. So for instance, again, the music folder, if I right click or control click and change it to a red label, it now becomes red. Um, let's change that to a yellow label. And pictures becomes yellow. And if we look at the different views, you'll see now my music folder is highlighted in red and pictures is in yellow. And you can actually change the label names uh, within this element as well. Uh, sidebar we've looked at and the advanced uh, yeah, you can actually show file extensions um, but again I tend to leave that as off and also show warning before emptying the trash um, another change you can make to the uh, to the bottom panel within the sidebar again with in finder preferences um, uh, if you go to sidebar you can actually remove the desktop home and applications folder from that bottom sidebar uh, if you particularly want to so let's just reposition these icons back in their usual place. Again, you can just drag and drop them to rearrange them. And there we are back as we were before. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, different views in a bit more detail. So uh, this is the icon view. Um, you can actually change the appearance of the icon view by either right or control clicking and do a show view options. Okay, now within here you've got uh, the capability of changing it just for this window or for all windows. So let's just change it for this window um, by itself. You can change things such as the icon size, so you can make them nice and big, or whatever you want. Uh, you can change the size of the text for each icon. You can also change the label position, um, so on the right hand side or the bottom. Uh, you can create a grid. Um, so that the icons will actually snap to the grid. You can show the item info. So for instance, in a folder, there are 12 items in that folder, uh, two items in this folder, uh, no items, that's an empty folder. So that's a nice and handy way to, to give a summary. Uh, show icon preview. Um, now I actually haven't got any icons in here. Let me just drag an icon in. Okay, so I've just dragged an icon across uh, this August 2005.png, which is a graphics icon. If I now click on, uh, well, we had show item info selected before. You can see the uh, the size of the icon as an under the icon under the item info. If I do show icon preview, you actually get to see a representation of the icon itself. And if we blow that up a bit larger, there we go. You can actually see the icon itself. Okay. And we can we can change the arrangement of the icons uh, by name, date modified, created, size, kind, and label. So lots of uh, options there. Yeah, another option you have is to actually change the background of the view. So for instance, here we have a default white background. You can actually uh, select color, and uh, that's uh, quite bright pink. But you can click on this uh, panel here and use the color wheel to find another color. So if we want a light green, okay. Uh, or if we want 